In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a landing page for your Shopify website that uses MailChimp to collect email addresses. So first of all, you'll want to create a MailChimp account if you don't already have one. Um, if you do have one, then you can log in. If not, you want to go ahead and click sign up free. Um, I do have an account, so I'm going to go ahead and log into my account. If you don't have one already, you can pause the video and create your MailChimp account. Okay, once you log into your MailChimp account, you'll see your dashboard, and you'll want to click Lists here in the sidebar. Then click Create List. And then click Create List here again. And here you'll give your list a name, and this could be anything you want, such as uh, newsletter subscribers. Default from name, this would probably be your name and your email address. And the default subject, you can leave blank. For this box here, um, you're reminding people how they got on your list. So usually you'll put something like, you're receiving this email because you signed up to the e-commerce pulse newsletter or whatever your site is. Um, and then confirm your contact information. Um, choose how you want to be notified. Um, if you put a daily summary, it'll email you once a day and show you how many people signed up. Um, or you can choose um, for it to email you one by one as people sign up. And then go ahead and click Save. All right, so now you have a list. And the next thing you need to do is create a sign-up form for this list. So to do that, um, you'll see your lists here if you have more than one. Click this arrow and go to Sign-up Forms. So from sign up forms, you'll need to go to embedded forms and click on embedded forms. Then go to um, this code right here. And if you click, it'll automatically select all of the code. That's all right. Just copy and then paste it into something like um, text edit. And then what you're looking for is your form action URL. And you'll see um, a line of code near the top here that says form action. And then you'll see a URL right here. You will want to select that URL, everything in between the two quotation marks. Um, so select that and copy it. Um, and you can actually just save this uh, text document. You will need to access this later. So that's all you have to do with MailChimp. Uh, as far as getting uh, your list set up and ready to accept signups. So the next thing you need to go do is go to your Shopify website. Um, hopefully you already have a Shopify account if you're watching this. If not, you'll need to create one and set up your website. Um, so <clears throat> once you're in your Shopify dashboard, then go to Themes and uh, Template Editor. And this will vary a little bit depending on depending on what theme you're using. Right now I'm using the minimal theme as a demo. Um, you may be using a different one and that's fine. Um, and that might cause your, your landing page to look a little bit different than mine, but I'll show you how to make some tweaks and edits if you need to. So from the template editor, uh, you're going to click add a new template and then change this to page and give it a template name of uh, anything you want. I'll use landing page. All right, and now you need to go into the files that you downloaded from the from from e-commerce pulse my site and you should have a zip folder like this and it's called landing page hyphen e-commerce pulse and you'll double click that to unpack it or unzip it and then you have a landing page code and this is a text document so double click that to open it and here you've got all the code that you need um, so click command a or control a to select all and then copy, and you're going to paste that into the template editor right here. Okay, so this, what this will do is it'll actually create a landing page that looks very similar to the one on my website. And let me pull it up for you real quick. And that's at survivalknifeexperts.com. So here's my landing page. And obviously it's geared for survival knives. And the landing page that we're going to create on your website actually looks very similar. It has all the same graphics, all the same text and all that, and even the same colors. So what I'll do is I'll show you how to, to remove that information and plug in your own text. 
and your own photos and all that because you're going to want to change it to be to be suitable for your niche. Um, but right now, let's go ahead and save this uh, template that we just created. And next, you'll go to Pages and add a new page. Give it a title. Um, you'll see here the title of my page is Sign Up for Sur Free Survival Tips. Um, and you can name it whatever you want. It should be something related to um, what your what your newsletter is going to be about. And remember that people can see the page title up here in the tab, even if they don't see it right here. Um, so we'll give this title of uh, Sign Up for Our Free Newsletter. Um, and save. And you don't need to put anything here in the content. It's all already going to be taken care of with that template code that we just added. And after you've saved it, you'll see down here there's a template. You want to change that to page.landingpage. And this is the code that we just added with our uh, template editor. Okay, once we've saved it, click View in your store. And now you'll see the basic layout of the page is up, although we're missing all of our images. You'll see these little broken image icons around the page. So we need to add those. So again, we're going to add the images that I used on my, my landing page here. Um, but then I'll also show you how to change those out if you don't want to use the same ones that I used, which you probably won't. So to add those images, go back to Themes and Template Editor. And now we're going to upload something to this Assets folder here. Um, click Add a New Asset. And then um, from this landing page folder that we just used, or that you just unpacked, that you downloaded from eCommerce Pulse, there's a folder called Upload to Assets. And you'll double click that. And then you see these images here. That's what we need to upload. And we can only do one at a time. So click Wilderness.jpg, or whichever one shows up first. If yours are in alphabetical order, it might be arrow first. And we'll just go down the list one at a time and upload these. And you have to click Add a New Asset every time. Alright, and I sped that up so hopefully you didn't have to spend too long watching it, <clears throat> watching me upload those files. Alright, so now I've uploaded all of the images to our Assets folder. Now let's refresh the page and see if that looks better. Alright, great. So now all of our, our images are showing up. And this is your basic landing page. Um, now, a minute ago, you, you co copied some code from MailChimp. You need to go back and grab that now. And that should be right here. Um, so you got your form action URL again. It's everything near this form action tag between these two quotation marks. So you'll copy that, and now go back to the um, template that we just created called page.landingpage.liquid or whatever name you gave it. Um, and you'll need to scroll down to let's see here. This should be uh, line two twenty seven. And then um, right here where it says um, settings.mailchimp link, um, you'll select everything in between those two quotation marks, delete it, and then paste in that code that we just got from uh, MailChimp and save. And that, that little line of code right there is how the landing page knows to send this sign up to your MailChimp account and put them on your, your newsletter list, your subscriber list. So you've got to make sure you change that. All right. And so that's the basics of it. Now, how would you go about changing any of these images or colors or change these icons, change the text, all of that? Because you're definitely going to want to do that. Um, so to do that, you can look at this code, um, and it starts on line uh, 204, and you'll see the headline here is Get Free Survival Tips and Gear Reviews. So because of all this extra code um, that's in here, uh, you're not going to be able to edit this in the regular Shopify page editor, so you'll just have to kind of work in between the code, and hopefully that's not too, too scary or overwhelming. Um, so, for example, let's say you wanted to change uh, this headline here to um, 
get free fashion tips and clothing deals. Um, you could just change this line here on 204 to get free fashion tips and clothing deals. And you could change the second line here delivered straight to your inbox if you wanted to. And then just make sure to click save up here when you're done. Okay, so we've updated um, that line there. Now how would we change this image right here? Well, let's just, as an example, let me just pull up an image of some kind. Um, Alright, so we're going to use uh, this picture here. Now, normally you should not just grab images off of Google Images to use on a commercial website. Um, so I'm just using this as an example. Um, you should probably buy a stock image or use your own photographs, that sort of thing. All right, so then um, the image, if you go back to your uh, the folder that you downloaded, this image here was called Knives. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that image that I just downloaded. It's called Women Shopping. And um, I need to upload that to my assets. So I'm going to click Add a New Asset. And let's see, I don't see it in there. I'll just grab it from the desktop. Okay. Okay, so now I've got that image. And I've uploaded that image. We just need to change the file name here in the code so that it shows the right image. So previously, if you scroll down to line 222, it was knives.jpg. So now we need to change it to women shopping.jpg and save. So now when we refresh the page, we see that image showing up right there. Of course, you can also change these. Um, if you want to use a different image for these bullet points here, um, you would basically upload a different uh, little icon to use there and make sure to just give it the file name bullet2.jpg and then upload it to replace that image. Um, so just make sure the file name matches there and then it'll, it'll automatically replace those. Um, if you wanted to do something like change the color of this arrow, unfortunately that would be a little difficult. You'd have to open it in Photoshop and change the color or create your own arrow image and then um, give it the name arrow.png and upload that. Um, Let's go down to these icons. Um, very similarly here, if you wanted to change these icons, you could just find your new icons and then uh, upload those to your assets. And then down here, you would just change the file name from mountainicon.png, knifeicon.png, and listicon.png to whatever your file names were. And again, here you could change the text for each of those three boxes that you see there. Uh, finally, this one down here, you got this background image and whatever photo you use there if you want to use that that sort of layout you would probably want to make it something that was just kind of textured and generic that this text could go over and still look good you wouldn't want it to be too detailed or too attention grabbing to where you know you wouldn't even be able to read this text um, or anything like that um, but you'll notice that if you scroll down you don't see an image there in the code um, like you do for these icons here um, and that's because it's a background image, so it's a little different. So in order to replace that, the best way to do it is just to delete the original wilderness.jpg image here. Just go ahead and delete that with this garbage can button and upload a new one with the same file name, and that'll replace it. So that's how you would change all of these images. I've already shown you how to change the text. Um, your your sign-up form is linked to your MailChimp account. And that's all there is to it. Um, of course, feel free to make some other changes. And actually, I did want to go over one other thing. If you need to make, if you need to make CSS changes for, and that would be to change minor things about the layout. So let's say, for example, this photo isn't exactly where you want it, and you want to bump it over this way a little bit. How would you do that? Well, if you're in Chrome, the browser, which I recommend, um, right-click on the image, go to Inspect Element, and then that'll show you some code down here. And what you're going to do is try to find the code for that image. 
and click on it. So here you say you see image ID equals knife pick. And then it has the source here. Um, and look over here on the right side, and you'll see that it says knife pick position absolute right negative 10 pixels top negative 20 pixels. So if we wanted to bump it over to the left, we would need to give we would need to bump this number up um, on the right. So because it's a negative number to go higher, I'm going to change it to zero, and you'll see it actually moves over to the left. So if I go up to 50, it moves over more. If I go up to 100, it jumps over a lot. Um, so that's how you could change the positioning of that image. Of course, if you change it here in your browser, it's actually not going to change your code. So what you should do is just kind of experiment with this to get it where you want it. Let's say we wanted it at 90. And then um, you're going to go into the code for this landing page. Scroll up to where that was, and that's knife pick here on line 76. And change it here to 90 pixels. And then save it. So now if we refresh the page, you'll see that the picture has moved and the code down here has changed as well. So just remember that you can use this inspect element tool to play around with the code and change the positioning of things, but then you have to go back into the theme editor to actually make those changes permanent. Um, you could also do something like change the color of this button. And to, to do that, you can um, use you can just do a Google search for like a um, a hex color selector or RGB color picker and then you need to find a hex code and then you would plug that into um, line 158 here the background color here this is what gives it that orange color if I wanted to make it gray I could type in 888 888 and save and you'll see that that'll change to orange or to gray, excuse me. Um, and there are these six numbers here give it the color. So you would just need to use some sort of color picker to find the six um, numbers there that would give you the right color that you want. So I know this is a little complicated, if, especially if you're not familiar with using code, HTML, CSS, all that. Hopefully um, it hasn't been too overwhelming for you, but if you have any questions at all, feel free to leave a comment um, below and I will get back to you and try to help out as much as I can.